Hi guys, it's Paul again from my YouTube channel. Um, okay, so we're doing some um, some art with um, a group in Northern Ireland uh, in the Annick Moor and Eglish uh, areas, um, the regeneration scheme over there. And obviously I've been doing quite a bit of artwork last few days um, with them. So this is day six. Uh, this will be going out on Sunday, on June the 6th, um, on my YouTube channel. Um, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Um, we've got lots and lots of views now. It's nearly heading up to towards 8,000 views on the uh, on the videos, which is fabulous. Um, currently standing at 327 um, subscribers. So if you could share this with other people, that would be great. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of animation um, from films and um, cartoons from from some of my favourite films and TV programmes on this uh, A3 page here. Tonight, or today, uh, one of my favourite animated films, and certainly my kids' favourite, um, one of their favourite films is Toy Story. Uh, and I'm going to do Toy Story 4, where the main character that kind of takes over the show is uh, Forky, who is a spork. Um, so I'm going to show you just quickly how to do um, Forky. On the pad here, we've got all the colours that we need. Um, I think the colours that will probably go best. Obviously, uh, Forky is uh, Pixar. I've done it digitally, so we can't can't really see the you know get the, the perfect shades. But we'll we'll try our very best. Okay. Um, so got a little bit of a, um, a theme going on here with the colours. We've got we've got to do his eyebrow, which is bright red. Uh, we've got to do his um, his arms, which are, are deeper, slightly deeper reds. So I've gone for kind of a mid red and a much darker red, uh, and I'll show you why I do that uh, later on. We've got a little bit of kind of browny, creamy brown. So if you've got a colour like that, that would be great. Cream, um, light, very light brown uh, for the putty. Uh, that attaches his feet. Uh, we'll probably use that as well. We've got a grey or a silvery grey just for the middle of his fork. We're going to keep the uh, sorry a spork. We're going to keep the spork white because we're using white paper. If you're not using white paper, then obviously try and use a, a maybe a white pencil crayon. Uh, and then his eyes, um, we've got black. So I'm going to use fine liner for the for the black googly eyes and obviously white around the outside edge. Um, so let's crack on. Let's do, um, yeah, my favourite character from Toy Story 4. So we're going to start this with a, I'm going to go around it with a, um, a fine liner. In the uh, animated film, obviously there isn't, um, you don't go, go round, it, it doesn't go round it, it's just a, it's just a plastic fork. But obviously to draw this on white paper, we're going to have to go around the, the, the shape of him. So I'm going to draw it here, uh, not too big because um, I don't want it taking too long on the video. You guys can do them as, as large as you want, but I'm going to also leave a bit of space for other characters as well. If you want to send me your favourite cartoon characters, favourite film characters from animated films, we'll try and do those in the next few videos maybe. So send me a message on um, in the messages on this video if you can uh, let me know what you like uh, I've done things like in the past that Bart Simpson and uh, I haven't done any of the family guy characters actually quite fancy doing Brian the dog maybe something like that or Peter Griffin uh, just let me know what you what you fancy doing anyway okay so we've got um, the top of his spork top of his head uh, which is simply four, um, four triangles with not a point at the end. They, they kind of flattened off. Um, and the reason why that is, it's they, they're generally made for children to use these uh, plastic uh, cutlery. So you don't want too many sharp edges when you're giving them to kids, which is, I think, why Pixar have done it like this. Now... The important thing is here is to try and get the, if you're going to do that curve there, try and get the same curve going on down the other side, okay? 
um, and it doesn't have to be too wide a curve but it does need to look similar if you can okay um, probably got that one a little bit wider here so I might just pull it out a little bit more um, okay uh, then it goes into his handle if you like I'm assuming it's the handle yeah what you're holding with um, So his catchphrase is I'm trash. So you could write I'm trash across the top if you wanted to. Um, now, when we get to this point, we get to this point, we're going to wrap him or wrap this, um, wrap this arm, his, his arms around his body here. Okay. So... We're going to do this kind of effect. So if you could draw that, that would be great. Uh, then we've got um, one arm. So you want some bumps on this. Like this, okay. Try and get them the same if you can. Okay, and then this is quite difficult actually when you're bumping everything. You're changing the direction, so you're taking it up, up this way, okay? And in the film, he often has his hand like this, okay? So I'm going to show you just the, the, the other edge of this now. So what you want to do is try and get the bumps to match each other. So this... This is matching top and bottom, if you can. Okay, so where it goes slightly smaller, you take this side slightly smaller. Okay. And then it flattens off a little bit here, so you'd flatten it off, and then we'd go bumpy again. Okay. Then we curve. What we're doing is we're curving it then. Taking it round here. Now it comes back. This one goes, disappears behind the one you've already drawn. And then it kinks really quite a lot. So it kinks back on itself. There we are. Okay, so. This goes really close now. All right, it's really close, and then it goes off this direction. Okay, so it carries on now, and then it goes up again, and it goes round like that. Okay. So, um, we've done that one. Now we just need to do the other side, but I'm gonna put this this line, you want it almost, to, you want it doing the same line down, so you can imagine, you could almost draw it through there if you wanted to, because this is gonna be red anyway. Um, and you don't wanna do it too, just trying to see if it's gonna fit on the paper now before. Yeah, I'm going to do mine a little bit, so I'll just bring it down on the camera so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so it's going to go down to about there. Okay, now we need the putty in, so we're just going to go down here like that. And it's going to go down, I just realised we've gone, let me just move the camera slightly. So we can see, there we are, hopefully that should work. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, and a little bit of shadow here actually, so we get the putty in here. I'll move it in a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, so this is the putty going in, and then his feet 
So he's got one plank, one small piece of wood. It's the end of a um, lollipop stick, I think. So this is what we need to do. It's going to go like this, okay? And we'll drop this down, we'll bring it around. So that's how it looks, okay? Next one. Um, this is the angle we need. There. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to curve it round. And then we're going to have. It's going to drop down. It's going to go round here. And it's going to go curved there. Okay, so that's how it looks, alright? Um, it's got a little rainbow on this foot, so we might do that later if we've got time. Um, so we just need to do the other arm now, and then we can get on with his face. Um, so again, you're just bringing this round. Not got as many bumps on this one, actually. Um, you can do the hands however you like, really. Pipe cleaners, these are, I think. So we've got this effect going on. And this is around here like this. Okay, uh, and then his face. I've got a big eyebrow, so his eyebrow goes like this. Goes up and down. Try and get them parallel if you can. And we curve that there at the bottom. Okay, this is curved as well. If you can make that curve, that's great. Uh, now we've got one bigger eye and one smaller eye, okay? So the eye should be as close to a circle as you can make it. Actually, this one isn't as certain. It's quite circular on, on Forky. Um, that's about right and then we've got a smaller one which is here okay and then his classic mouth which he does change the shape of depending on what mood he's in okay we've got a curve here there we are. Okay. Now we have to make this. This is going to be blue. Okay. And we're going to go like that. Okay. Um, we need another circle, which is a big circle. Like that. Curve this a little bit more. There we are, it's a bit better. Okay, uh, and then this is a smaller one, like that. Okay, and then we're done. Okay, so hopefully you can see Forky there, um, and then we just got to just put a splash of colour on him now. So um, we're going to leave the, the spork white i'm going around this sort of fine liner these are if you want to buy a pack of these 10 from um, amazon that are four pound fifty five pounds something like that uh, amazon uk unbelievably good these are uh, for this kind of detailed work if you fancy getting hold of a pack of these i had them uh, amazon prime ordered um a few weeks ago because i'd only got one previous and it ran out um, when it when they do run out, they split the ends split slightly, so it ends up you drawing two lines when you want to try and draw one. Um, now, as I say, I'm going round all of this with a fine liner in the, which is not the same as the actual film. 
because we've not got the ability to do digital art, well, I would have. Um, if we've got something like an iPad, we could maybe do some digital art as well. Um, but that demands everybody that's watching it have one. Um, I've got an older iPad, I haven't got a new version. An iPad Pro I'd like for all the digital art. If you get a chance to um, to try some digital art, it's really cool. Um, I follow quite a few artists on Instagram who are uh, digital artists. I was watching that Grayson's Art Club a few weeks ago and um, they got Keith Lemon on there. The character, obviously, Abid Merrin. Keith Lemon's character, he uh, he's quite an active uh, digital artist, actually. I didn't realise. Um, he's quite talented. He was doing... Uh, I can't remember the actor, the singer's name from um, the one who sang Happy, uh, Pharrell Williams. He was doing a copy of... He got a photograph of Pharrell Williams... And then he did a um, a digital piece of artwork with based on Pharrell, so it was a it was a portrait. It was really good. Um, love that Grayson's Art Club show. Technically, though, I started this before Grayson. Grayson's only started that show in lockdown. I started a good couple of weeks before he did, so I think I should be on TV, not him. Um, but he's a brilliant artist, actually, Grayson. Does a lot of sculpture, doesn't he? If anybody wants to get into watching that show, it's on. It's on the way through lockdown, I think. If you can get hold of it, I know over in England. If you're watching this in Ireland, I'm not sure whether you can get hold of it on the on your terrestrial TV, but you should be able to find it somewhere. Um, I think it's on channel. F is it channel four? I think in in England. Um, so you just have to let me know if you've seen that show. Uh, I think Joe Lysett, the comedian Joe Lysett was on there a few weeks ago and I was watching it. I've missed quite a few of them. I've got them on uh, record, so hopefully I'll have time to watch them. I'm just a bit busy with art at the moment. I've just uh, been to see a, just to let you know, I've just been to see a lady today with some holiday um, cottages on a farm and she wants three paintings for three of the, uh, three of the properties, but she wants them tied into the into the farm so I've I've now got to paint one of the horses. I've got to paint a um Muscovy called a Muscovy duck. I didn't realise its name was a Muscovy duck. Um they're the ducks that are really strange looking with a bright red head. They almost look like a I think they remind me of a turkey's head um on a duck's body. Uh and then their family dog who's Always greeting the uh, the visitors that are staying in the holiday cottages. His name's Scrappy, so he's quite apt at so he's always fighting with my dog when uh, my dog when I walk my dog past at the end of the lane. Anyway, um, and I've also been asked today to um, to do an article. Some of the journalists has been been in contact with me to uh, ask me if I'd uh, she could do an article on my artwork, which is which is really good. Um, so maybe I will be like Grayson one day. Also, I'd love to travel to, um, I've mentioned this to um, Andrea. Um, if you're watching this in Northern Ireland, I've, uh, I've never visited Northern Ireland. I've visited the Republic. I've been over to Dublin before and... Um, been over to Galway for the horse racing festival, but I've never travelled to Northern Ireland, so I'd like to uh, definitely like to visit. And if you guys are involved in the artwork with me, it'd be lovely to meet you all um, when the lockdown is over. Maybe you can uh, arrange that, and I can come over and see you all. That'd be good. Um, maybe do some art in the village. Um, okay, so that's Sporky now. Um, I'm just going to simply colour in a few bits now. So the, you need it like a sky blue or light blue. I'm just going to simply colour in uh, his mouth. Try and not go over the edges. Okay. Colouring in his mouth here, which is sky blue. See if we can all go in the same direction. I don't really have to, but it'd be good if you did. I don't want any white showing through here. So nice and 
solid colour, nice and bright if we can. They're always good to, I've sharpened all my pencils um, earlier on before this video, the ones that I needed, so it's always better to be colouring in with sharper pencils, especially if you've got smaller areas to do. Okay, um, so that's the only bit of blue that we need. Uh, red, um, just for this, this bright red, pillar box red. Sorry, that's my dishwasher telling me it's finished. It's having a nightmare at the moment. It sounds like it's taking off like an aeroplane. Um, just have to get somebody else to have a look at, somebody out to have a look at that soon. When it starts, it sounds like the, if you've ever seen Home Alone, when he goes down into the basement and that's uh, he's scared of the, the heater or the boiler and it kicks in. It sounds like that when it starts. Anyway. The beeping, if you've just heard the beeping, tells me it's finished, but I can tell it's finished because it's not making any noise anymore. Uh, right, so a um, little bit of grey through the middle of the body. So this is what I want you to try and do, kind of a triangular effect with a bit of grey. I've got this silvery grey with these um, with these pencil cranes from um, one from Faber or Faber Castell. Um, Great pencil cranes, these are really good. You get a pack of 60 on Amazon for about 15 pounds, I think. Uh, well worth the money, really good. Um, okay, so that'll do me for the grey for now. Okay, um, a little bit of pink in this in this cheek here. All right, so a tiny little fleck of pink through here. All right. Um, that's it. And then we've got these two darker reds. Okay, so this is what I'll do with the... I'll colour it all in this lighter or mid-red. This is going to take me some time now. If you guys could start colouring this in as well while I'm, while I'm colouring mine, that'd be great. Okay. I think sometimes uh, if people watch the, these, they, they pause them where they want to. But the main thing is they, they can actually draw fast and colour faster than I can because I'm trying to go slow and talk you through it as I'm going. Um, my son did one a few weeks ago and he'd done it in five minutes. It took me about 20 minutes to do the video. Actually he cheated at one point. He just fast forwarded it to the end and then paused it and then just copied the actual final picture. I know some people have been doing that. As long as you're drawing, I don't mind. Yeah, As long as you're sketching, as long as you're practising, I don't mind at all. Um, so we've got this kind of effect going on now. This darker red, or mid-red, it's darker than this one. Let's say that's more like pillar box or bright red, pillar box red. Um, this one's a bit deeper, a bit darker. This red here. If you're using these, it's classic colour number 326, these Faber-Castell pencil cranes. 326 I'm using right now. Uh, and the, the numbers are all coded in the on the website so you can actually find the right colour that you want. But this uh, this package has got 60 random colours in it. There's about four or five different shades of red in this pack, which is great. You don't really want to be stuck with one one shade of, the, of a pencil crane. Of course, you can do this in felts if you want to. No problem at all. Just do this in one. I do this in one felt, felt pen. It might be a bit tricky if the if the gap is a little bit small. So this bottom edge here, I'm doing. You might go over the lines, and that might annoy you a little bit. Um, okay. So again, we just got a little bit more red to do on this middle section. Okay, I've gone over the line there a little bit onto his fork handle. So we'll try and correct that in a minute. Okay, um, so if I've gone over the line slightly, and it's not too bad here, because I can just put a little bit of gray in there and just disguise that I made that mistake there. So that's something that I'd probably encourage you guys to do as well. Um, so if you've got to go a little bit darker there, you go darker underneath as well. Okay, and then all of a sudden you can't see that red that I've just made a mistake on. All right, so I just wasn't concentrating then properly. 
It's quite difficult to talk and to concentrate at the same time, talking you through these videos. So if I go quiet, it's just because I'm really trying to concentrate on a section that's a bit tricky. Okay, um, so we've got this red, which we've nearly finished with. Um, and as I say, with all these videos, you can take as long, you do as quick or as take as long as you want on these. Okay, um, sometimes, now I can't do this on this video, sometimes I'll move the pad because now I'm kind of colouring in almost upside down here. So I'd spin the pad around if I wasn't doing a video, but I don't want the video, the pad moving too much with the video. So I'm almost going upside down here to, co to colour in around that edge, this bit now. Okay. So, a um, little bit darker. Now, if you can, if you can pick this out, what you want to do is just go through, down this middle bit with a few little flicks of this darker red. Okay. Now, it might not show up brilliantly, but you can actually, I mean, you could do this with black if it's not showing up very well. Okay. You're just going over these middle sections with a darker slightly darker now if you change to something like a pencil you could probably see that better for the video okay so you could so i'm going over with a hb pencil now which is looking actually quite good so i might carry on with that so you're just doing the lines down the middle okay to suggest that it's a fiber that you're drawing okay which is like this this bendy what used to be used to use them as pipe cleaners. Obviously, lots less people smoke these days, which is great. Um, but to clean your pipes out, you would have put one of these down the pipe to clean it. So um, anyway, the little girl in um, in Toy Story when she goes finally goes to school and she can't take her favourite toys with her, she obviously creates this at school, and I'm assuming the teachers have just got some spare pipe cleaners for her to use. For hands, okay. Um, so, if you can see the effect that's having a little bit, um, that's good. Um, a little bit darker here, if you can, around this edge, all right. Uh, and a little bit darker underneath here. Okay, um, and then we'll carry on with this up until there okay and then it'll go carry on through the middle okay and this outside edge here like this a little bit around this there okay so that's it okay so now onto the creamy brown now this is a little bit too brown for me it's not it's not as creamy as as i'd like so what i'm going to do is leave a little bit of white uh, on this putty here and I'm just going to put this creamy brown it's a little bit too brown but this is as close to the colour as I can get okay so you want to create this kind of putty um, effect almost looks like he's wearing a little dress or a skirt um, and then we're going to use the same colour okay uh, in this these areas here this foot area okay but we're gonna just put a slight bit of yellow through the top of it. So I'm gonna go across here, just really light. Let's make it look a bit like wood. And then I've got like a lemony yellow. I'm just gonna flick a bit of yellow through the top, okay? So it's just gonna bring this a little bit, you want it different than that putty, okay? That's it. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've just, we've just got a few little grey bits to put on now. So I'm going to go back to his mouth. A little bit of grey around the outside. A little bit of grey here on the inside there. Okay. Which is, suggests a bit of shadow. Uh, and a little bit of grey through this bottom section here of his mouth. Okay. And a tiny bit in this 
this bit of his mouth here. All right. Um, what you can do now, if you've got a rubber, is just to rub out any pencil line on these eyes because you want that nice and sharp, okay? Um, same with this here. Now, if you can, if you can, grey underneath the eye here, just round this little bottom section here, okay? And then a little bit of grey round this outside edge here. There we are, just gives it a little bit of 3D, a bit of a 3D effect. It brings those eyes forward a little bit, if that's if that makes sense. So, tiny fleck of grey up here. Okay, a little bit of grey there. Um, a tiny, tiny bit of grey, but you've got to be really light here through this section. Okay, and then we're going to have a bit of shade under here. So, a little bit of grey. I've got this silvery grey, this sparkly grey, which is really good. Um... That's what you're doing. So a little bit of grey underneath there, okay? And make sure these grey bits now go into that putty, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of grey in that putty, actually. Make that slightly darker, okay? A line or two there. All right, so a couple of lines across here. Trying to make it look like wood, if we can. Okay, little pieces of wood. Now, if you wanted to be really authentic, I suppose, we could go on this foot here, we could go um, dark blue, which goes out there, okay? Now, there's a little bit of rainbow here. A bit of a rainbow. So we need a green, okay, quite a bright green. So we do this line as well like this bright green like that um, and then we do a yellow this might not show up very well but do a yellow there like that and then we do a bright red just a little curve bright red there okay um, and that's it okay there is our um, very happy looking Forky, so I think he's probably happy that we finished, actually. How many minutes was that? 32. Dear me, that's gone very, very quick. I didn't think it was that long. Um, so that's day six. That's going to go out on Sunday. Enjoy that. Bit of Toy Story for you. Um, let me know if you want any more, um, any more videos of cartoon characters. Okay. Um, just let me know in the messages underneath this video. Uh, what do you fancy uh, next? Um, okay, and I'll try my best for you. Okay, and uh, speak to you very soon. Take care.